Hello traders, uh, it's your one and only Forex skill coach, Team Legend, and I'm super excited having you all here today on this one. Yeah, um, you know, I've been getting quite a lot of uh, requests from traders asking me to teach them how they can actually stay long in a trade, you know, because uh, it happens to quite a lot of traders when they get into the market and uh, they got quite good entries the analysis is good you understand and their entry is making sense but their issue is the ability to really stay long the confidence to really stay long you see them uh make just few pips and they jump out of the market just like that why you know that's because they're lacking one particular thing we in, that when it comes to psychology all right so in this video today i'll be teaching you a little bit about psychology that's going to help you to be able to stay long in a trade all right now currently as you can see i'm on a running trade though currently in loss all right but as a trader i don't have to jump out of the trade because oh man i'm in loss all right as you can see i'm still running in loss of uh 21 dollars but that doesn't uh, warrant me to jump out of the trade prematurely okay so i'll be i'll be teaching you today how to really deal with your emotions when you're in loss and even when you're in profit for you to be able to stay longer all right so one thing i want you to do right now if this is your first time on my channel could you do me a favor and smash the subscribe button turn the notification bell on so you'll be the very first person to get notified the moment that i release a new content because right here in this channel all i post are ways for you to win in the financial markets and you also want to make sure you uh click the link below to join my telegram channel and you can also follow me on twitter where i drop wonderful updates that you don't want to miss out so for the meantime let's proceed traders now uh you see as a trader you need to understand some factors when it comes to trading number one is your analysis number two your strategy number three your entry strategy number four your exit strategy all right now when we talk about your analysis you already know what analysis is all about you want to uh, analyze the market using the past to predict what might likely happen in the future right that's you analyzing your markets right from your charts okay now what happens when you finally catch the entry as a trader this is what you want to do if you want to analyze your market just like i do all right it might necessarily not be what you want to do but it's out of my own experience and what i do when i want to run my analysis i start my analysis starting from the four hour chart sometimes i i can decide to look into the daily daily chart just because probably some things ain't so clear on the four hour chart for me then i can decide to head over to the daily chart in order for me to be able to gain more understanding of what i'm seeing on the chart all right and that, there are times when some sudden charts will have to warrant you to even go to the weekly time frame if you can see clearly what you want to see on a daily chart so it depends on what warrants you to move higher okay but normally i start my analysis from the four hour charts i plot out all the things that are necessary for me to plot out getting ready to take my entry so when i begin my analysis on the four hour charts uh on the one hour chart all i want to do is to make sure that everything is well set up then i use the 30 minute time frame to look around the charts making sure that everything is properly ready to go and my 15 minute time frame is going to be my entry time frame but why before i get to the 15 minute time frame i'll make sure that i stay on the one hour chart observing price as price is gradually coming to my entry point now this is one thing i always tell my students as a trader you don't chase the market you set the trap and allow price come to you okay so when you allow price come to you then uh what you want to do is look for your entry zones what then do you do when price comes to your entry you go over to the 15 minute time frame and find your entry all right now once you find your entry that's good that's what good the next thing is how then do you stay how do you sustain you find your entry you set your stop loss that's number one thing because that's where your emotion begins your stop loss if your stop loss is not set 
you would be like man who knows how much i'm gonna lose you ought not to be a trader who keeps asking himself who knows how much i'm gonna lose you should know how much you're willing to lose before you place the trade you ought to know how much you're willing to lose so for instance you're willing to lose ten dollars or twenty dollars like for instance this trade that i am currently i'm willing to lose twenty dollars on each one of them so by the time I lose on the entire four of them, I know I'm losing $40. Actually, I always take five entries on my first trade, which is $100 each. All right. Then if price keeps going in my favor, I keep adding positions. That's what I do. But I just decided to place just four for now. OK, so right now I know already how much I'm going to lose if my stop loss is hit. And that's what $80 on this right now. That's number one thing you want to understand as a trader. Then number two is. After setting my stop loss, I know how much I'm willing to lose. Now, what do I do? When I'm running a loss, what do I do? This is what you want to do for you to be able to stay long, for you not to jump out of the trade out of fear that it's going to hit you stop loss. Number one, you have to decide within yourself that I've set this entry. I'm not going to take it out prematurely. If you want to hit my stop loss, hit my stop loss. That's the mindset you have to set up as a trader, number one. And then number two is don't look at your chart from your entry time frame now a lot of traders will tell you place the trade and let go of your eyes don't look at the chart any, any longer allow it to go you understand but i don't really buy that idea of place the trade and uh lock up lock your phone or close your phone so you don't see what is happening because so you don't play with your emotions no because even if you try to do that your, your heart is always going to keep beating like, man, I placed a trade. Who knows how it's going? I want to check it out. That even is not going to help your emotions. You need to face your fears. So what I advise traders to do is stay on your chart. Keep observing what's happening. Look at it. Face your fears. But this is how you do it. Don't look at it from your entry time frame. Because if you keep looking at it from your entry time frame, it's going to keep playing with your emotions like, oh, shit, it's going up. It's going up. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. Oh, it's going, you know. What I advise you do is head to your one hour chart and observe it like this. Keep looking at it like this. All right. Now, here is what I always imagine as a trader. What I always imagine is what if I can catch this long candlestick of one hour? That's a huge profit for me. If I can catch just this one uh, long candlestick or if I can just catch this one or just this one. So you continue to imagine that around here. Like what if I catch just one long one around here? I know how much that is going to work to me. So you imagine it like that. Look at it from the one hour chart. If care is not taken, you can even look at it from the four hour chart. So it will look like nothing is really happening around there. And don't look at your your uh, how much you're already losing on the back end like this. Don't keep looking at it like this. Already, you should know how much you're willing to lose before you set your stop loss. All right. So that is what you need to know as a trader, and you need to be doing as a trader. Observe from a higher time frame, one hour chart like this, and in that way, you'll be able to really kill your emotions. All right. You'll be able to kill those things that make you jump out of the trade prematurely. So what if price is currently in profit? And going you don't want to jump out of the trade prematurely imagine you catching a long one hour candlestick like this that's what you need to imagine around here that you can hold on till one full hour candlestick closes all right because the way we look at this chart if you if you going to look at the, the chart from the lower time frame you you keep uh, acting and feeling like there's nothing happening in a higher time frame you need to understand that before anything can happen in the higher time frame it happens in the one in the lower time frames first so don't allow the the the, the noise happening at this uh, entry time frame to play with your emotions for you to prevent that go to a one hour time frame and allow it all right and allow it right now i can see clearly that i'm running in loss I, i'm running in loss but i'm not scared about it because i know that i'm will i know what i'm willing to lose all right i'm willing to lose $80 on this right now, $20 on each position. And if he hits it, no problem. I'm going to find another entry. That's what it is, traders. All right. So you need to understand that as a trader. So for you, if probably maybe you're handling a, uh, let's say, a $500 account, I don't advise you to risk $80 or $100 per trade. You can risk just $50. 
so you should know how, what lot size you're going to use or how many positions you're going to open all right so that is how you continue to fight this and be able to defeat your emotions when you are on a trade so i hope this uh video really makes sense to you guys smash the like button if you really love what i just taught you and if you think it's making sense and don't forget to subscribe and join me on telegram and on twitter and i'll see you on the top keep winning